How's it going today, YouTube? Today, I have the ASOM Elite 2 cargo trailer. At least, that's how I think you pronounce it. It is a great trailer. I've had it for about three months now. I've had no problems with it. Um, I will tell you, I did do a few modifications myself to make this trailer a little bit better. Uh, for starters, I greased up the rear hubs on here. They, they weren't greased up at all. Um, I made sure of that just so it prevents um, wear and tear on with metal and metal on metal contact. Made sure of that. Um, that is one thing to keep in mind. Um, the, I mean, really, I, <laughs> I don't have too much bad to say about this trailer. I mean, it is on the heavier side. It's about, uh, I want to say, close to thirty pounds right around that ballpark um and it's really simple to uh connect and disconnect this trailer uh it comes down here with a little hitch uh it just do it by hand pull this out done it gets a little finicky to get through the hole in there but overall it's pretty good i really like the fact that they have these wheel guards in place um that helps protect the wheels if you ever have to replace one of these they're kind of a pain in the ass to uh replace maybe amazon sells them i i don't think i could find any you might have to contact the company itself they're not very standard wheels it's not like you get can get like a simple uh i think these are a 16 inch these are a 20 inch these are 20 inch tires um, it's, you can't get like a simple replacement off of like a bike that has like 20 inch wheels or something like that. Stick it on there. You can't do that, unfortunately. But I mean, that's, it's okay. I don't plan on destroying this thing or anything, taking it off <laughs> any mountain bike trails. So, uh, as you can see, I did a few modifications. You can get a little artsy with it. It's pretty easy to put some cardboard on here, wrap it around with duct tape and, you got yourself some good art, potentially. I just have two rear reflectors there. It's pretty nice. Um, I like, back to the guards on here, these are quick release. So if you don't want these on, if you don't want these uh, tire guards on, you can actually just push down here and it'll disconnect so this is really useful to uh, compact it even more. So, I mean, and that's another thing too. This trailer is great to fold up and store in like an apartment or something like that. Uh, everything is pretty much compressible. <laughs> compressible, <laughs> it's making up words here. <laughs> anyway, um, as far as, uh, carrying groceries with this it works awesome awesomely <laughs> another word i just made up awesomely uh as you can see here i have a ton of stuff well a decent amount of stuff i've carried wood i've even carried like some small furniture with this uh before you just gotta get a little creative on carrying furniture but it is doable uh like smaller shelves or something like that it's, it's a pretty big trailer. Uh, let me back up a bit just to give you kind of an idea of how how big that is. I mean, it's it's pretty good size. I mean, it's like a, it's roughly the size of like a small trunk and like a smart car or something. That's pretty good uh, for something that's pedal powered. And so yeah, if you're going up hills, if you're going up steep hills, this is gonna be pretty tough to pedal. Uh, you just kinda gotta live with that, but um, if you live in like in a super flat area, this is awesome. <laughs> because you can just go, carry so much stuff and just go so fast. It's crazy. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, um, one other thing I would recommend is that 
you get some padding for this so I did something super simple I just uh, zip tied some uh, cardboard wrapped in duct tape in there um, you can get like some cheap pallet wood or something just to give it more of a cushion because this could tear I mean this material is just a little bit flimsy so that's something else to keep in mind um, just put some cushioning in there so when you have like something like wood wooden planks for example protruding out that could rip this material so just one thing to keep in mind this does include they get, do give you a tarp uh, the only issue with the tarp, tarp is is that it doesn't really clip on to the top of the trailer so you're gonna have to get like a safety pin or something for that um, so yeah I mean that's pretty much the gist of it I mean you're looking to uh, transport some bulky stuff, some groceries, uh, to uh, satisfy your cycling endeavors. <laughs> this is this is definitely uh, awesome. This will definitely satisfy your need right here. Uh, I got this for about 90 bucks uh, with free shipping, so that was awesome. It comes in a pretty nice compact box. Uh, which makes carrying it uh, when you first open it pretty easy. So I really, I really enjoy it. I definitely give this thing um, nine out of ten. I mean, other than like some simple stuff, uh, it's the frame is pretty well built. Um, it, I'm, I'm pretty surprised for something that's made in China. You know, it's, it, it does the job. It, this will definitely do the job. Just. Uh, you know, do put some grease in the hubs, and you know that it'll be fine. Uh, I I think this is a pretty well-made, durable trailer, so definitely a buy, definitely a must-have if you are uh, transporting groceries and bulky stuff. Absolutely, get this trailer. Very simple to use, uh, very convenient. Well. Uh, Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video review. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, thank you.